Hey yeah, hi guys this is Bakapa Chinchalikar welcome back to session on how to become expert in using a Eclipse IDE so this is a part one so couple of shortcuts I'm going to discuss which is uh, used very commonly in Eclipse IDE tool so couple of shortcuts I'll be discussing in this session and in the next session I'll be discussing couple of shortcuts which is used very frequently in Eclipse IDE tool so first we'll discuss the first option that is a control plus d so the functionality of this particular control plus d is to delete any particular line so let us go to the eclipse id and i'll tell you how exactly this particular shortcut is going to work for us say for example here i have written something system dot out dot println So if I want to delete this particular line, so just if you use control plus D, so this particular line is going to get deleted. So the functionality of control D, control plus D is to delete to delete particular line of code. And that's jumping into the next option that is control n. So this particular control n, control plus n, this particular shortcut is going to use. There are many situations this particular control plus n will be using in Eclipse ID. So let us jump to the Eclipse ID. So in many cases, this particular shortcut will be useful. Say, for example, if I want to create any different files like packages or any folders or class under this particular project if i click on this particular project and if i press ctrl plus n so here you can select any you can select any class or interface or java project or any different type of file you can select and you can create the different types of file in the this particular project in the same way you can click on any of the package you can now you can press ctrl plus n so here you can directly enter class and you can create the class directly so in manually how it can be done you will be right clicking on this particular package and then you'll be going to the new and then here you will be selecting a package or project or class or interface like that so in the same way you can do it by pressing ctrl n so that is a shortcut we'll be using for creating package class interface or different types of files in under the particular project so this second option we'll be using for to create any file the third option we have is ctrl plus m so this particular shortcut is going to use for say for example now this particular window is very small right so if i wanted to maximize this particular window just press ctrl m so that it can maximize that particular window in the same way if you want to minimize this particular window you can press the ctrl m so it can minimize that particular window so this particular option this particular shortcut will be using for to maximize or minimize the window so let us jump to the fourth option fourth shortcut i have so i have control plus shift plus o so this particular shortcut is going to use for to import the related packages so let us jump to the eclipse id say for example if i have not imported these packages so in this case it is already imported to automatically import the packages you will be using this particular shortcut that is control shift plus o so let us jump to the one of the program here 
so what i'll do is just i'm opening one of the program here in this particular package so here already if i open this particular class if i de-explore this particular import related packages this all the import already we have imported a set of packages say for example if just i will delete this thing now we will get error to import the related packages for this particular class tree map or map like that so to import these packages so we have already shortcut our label called that is control shift plus o so this imports all the related packages into the current class so if i press control shift plus o so it is asking from where i need to import this particular uh, connection so as of now it is focusing on the connection so just i'll say finish if you look at here all the packages got imported automatically just by using the shortcut called control shift plus o and the next shortcut i have is control shift f so this particular shortcut will be using for to format the to format any program properly say for example i have set of lines here if this particular line is got not formatted properly so like this it is formatted now if i wanted to format this particular lines just i will select these lines and i will press control shift f so this formats your code in a proper way so this particular option that's a particular shortcut control shift plus f it is used to to format java code and next shortcut i have is f11 so this particular option that is a particular shortcut control plus f11 so this particular shortcut will be using for to run any program say for example i i am there in this particular program that is interview java program 3 so if i want to run this particular class just i'll be pressing control plus f11 so if i press control plus f11 this particular program is going to get executed so just say okay if you see here it is executed that particular program in the same way if i if i want to execute this particular program or this particular class just press control plus f11 to execute the currently focused java program to execute currently focused java program so let us move on to the next shortcut control shift plus t so in this particular so this particular shortcut will be using for to search any of the java program say for example let me minimize this window let me close all these programs we have some error it seems that's fine osseous say for example i want to find this particular class just i'll copy this and i will close all the stuffs here so if i wanted to find any pro any java class by using the name of the java class so for that reason you need to press control shift plus t so if i press control shift plus t it is going to open one window if you enter here one class name so it is clearly it will show you where exactly this particular class exists and if you click on it so it is going to open that particular class without navigating into the particular project or particular package directly you can open any of the java class by pressing control shift plus t to open any 
Java program. To open any Java program. That's it. So next shortcut I have is Control plus F6. So this particular Control plus F6, say for example, if I want to navigate in between the Say for example, I have opened some two, three classes, Java classes, Java programs. Say for example, if I now currently I am in interview Java program four. So if I wanted to move to this particular interview Java program one, what I will be doing is I will be using this particular option that is control plus F6. So if I press control plus F6. So here you can see all the classes which is opened in the current window. These all different classes are open in this particular window. If I wanted to switch to the particular interview Java program one, so just I will select that particular class so that it can move directly into that particular Java class. So that's why we'll use this particular shortcut that is control plus F6 to move into the particular class java class that is then the next shortcut i have is control plus e so basically this functionality of control plus e is say for example if i open with multiple java classes So if I want to see what are the different Java classes got opened, so by pressing this particular option control plus E, it will gives you the all the open programs which is there in the current window. So I have opened interview Java program 1 and interview Java program 2, 3, 4, 7 and 11. So these are the different Java programs I have opened in the current window. to check out currently opened java programs so that's it we have a last shortcut that is alt plus left arrow and alt plus right arrow so this particular shortcut will be used using when say for example in the currently i am in the interview java program one say for example here i have written something system dot out dot println statement i will not write anything just so directly i will navigate into this particular class that is interview java program 11 so let me delete this one so here also I will write system dot out dot println. So just now I have edited that is interview Java program one and currently I have edited interview Java program eleven. So if I wanted to go back to the last class which is edited, so by using this particular Alt plus left arrow, if you use this particular shortcut, you'll be directly navigating into the latest updated java class if i press control plus left arrow sorry so that is alt plus left arrow right so i need to press alt plus left arrow so directly it is navigated to the just a minute guys so just i have deleted here right so that's it that's the reason it is moved into the next line that is uh, which is there in the ups ups upside so if i press control backspace so now it is sorry guys that is alt left arrow if i press alt f left arrow so it is navigated into the interview java program one in the same way if i wanted to go back to the next next class that is the previously where i was right 
So if I wanted to navigate into that particular class, that is interview Java program 11, right? I was there in that particular class. I came back from that this particular interview Java program 11 class into the interview Java program 1 class because it always this particular shortcut help us in going back where exactly we have edited previously. In that particular class, it is going to navigate into the it will put your cursor into the control into that particular class. If I wanted to navigate into the another class where I was previously, right? So if I wanted to navigate into the next class, I need to use the Alt plus right arrow. So if I use Alt plus right arrow, so it is navigating into the this particular program, particular Java class that is interview Java program 11. That's all I have guys in this session. If you have any questions, please comment in the comment section. And if you like this particular video, please click on like button and also share with your friends and colleagues. To get updates from this particular channel on daily basis, please click on subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial on how to become expert in using Eclipse IDE.